fist strikes. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to start off in our fighting back stance, midsection guard. Okay, a roundhouse back fist, that's what I'm going to start with today. So from here, if I come a bit closer, right, from here, what you're going to do, your front hand, that's the hand nearest the enemy, nearest the target, that's going to come up here, okay, going to come up to the side of your head here, and the elbow is going to point at the target. So if you're doing a high one, a low one, midsection one, or midway one, so that's going to point at whatever you're going to strike at, okay? And then from here, we're going to come forward and strike, all right? So for this one, it's more of a flick. I'm going to do it very slowly here for you, so you can see. So from here, you've noticed this hand hasn't moved. Do you remember yesterday, or the last lesson, I was saying that, you know, if you do a, a, a punch, one hand goes forward, one hand comes back, okay? This one, it hasn't, okay? From here, when we do our back fist strikes, we use them as an atemi strike. A temi just means fast, quick, a light strike. So from here, you see, in and out, straight away, yeah? Bang, all right? So, your target has momentarily dropped their guard to swing, excuse me, to swing a punch, all right? And once they've done that, you're here, bang, you're gonna hit them on the side of the head, okay? So, very important you stay relaxed for this. Nice and relaxed, elbow up, point at the target. It's because that's where it is, there, pointed. And as you come out, yeah, and back again, okay, that's where it's gonna strike. If your elbow's down here, don't quite work, okay? You've got to think then about aiming your shot, whereas here, you've already aimed it, bang, okay, and you're in. All right? So, with me then, we'll do them nice and slowly to start with. First 10, and then come one, and two. We'll bring them into two, and back, and back. And elbow up, one, cross, two, and back. I'm doing mine slightly downwards, so that's because uh, the camera's lower than me, all right? Uh, but I'm actually aiming at the camera, all right? So, one, two, and back, all right? Notice at the end here, it's this flick here, okay, this flick, all right? All right, it's this flick. The idea is, have you ever seen somebody cracking a whip? That little crack at the end is the end of the whip breaking the speed of sound. So you get a little sonic boo, a little sonic crack. And that's because it comes up like, and by the time it gets to the end, boom, it's moving really quickly. All right? And that's the whole idea with your fist here. I'm not sure you're gonna get a little sonic boom. In fact, the only cracking you might hear will be my elbow, because I'm old and broken, all right? But you guys are young and fit, so it's up and out. Up, out, and down. Okay, up, out, and down. Right. So, your roundhouse back fist. So, together then. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. No key eye on that one. We weren't doing it full speed, were we? No, you see, you've got to listen. All right. Ten, full speed. All right. You ready? <laughs> Wait for it. One. Excellent. So, the roundhouse, because it's going around the houses, if you like, a roundhouse back fist. Called a back fist because you're hitting with the back part of your um, knuckles. Here, look. 
So let's find the, the kick bag. Can we find that? Is it there? Yeah, there we go. Right, so from here, look. Up. Okay. The other um, part of an Atemi strike is that you're looking for something vulnerable, like the side, the cheekbone, something like bony, that's always good, cheekbone. The, uh, up here, okay, on the head there. Um, <clears throat> when we do the overhand back fist, you can do the bridge of the nose. That's always a good one, okay. When you bang your nose, have you ever bang your nose and it makes your eyes water? <laughs> All right. So, in fact, we'll do that one next. So, fighting back stance, midsection guard, overhand back fist. So, from here, you're going to come around and over. Okay, in a circle here, look. Back. All right, so from here. Two, let's do it from this side angle here, look. From this side, so you can see. I'm just going to look at the camera now to make sure that you can see what I think you can see. I'll move back a bit. Okay. That's also a flick here, you see, it's also a flick. Right. Hey, you're aiming for the top of the nose there. That's great if you're going to come in between their guard. You see, my guard's slightly open here, you've got an open bit here, so you can come in there, see, bang. Okay, right. right, so what we'll do here now, 10 slowly, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so overhand back fist is coming over the top now, over the top. Well, I've exaggerated that, but it's just to show it's coming over the top rather than around the side. All right, so 10 fast. You ready? Ready? You ready? What about you? Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and what happens on 10? 10, yeah! Very good. Right, missing position. Okay, good. So, roundhouse and overhand back fist. You can, of course, do what I call a gall blimey back fist. Okay, so from here, if you do a spinning gall blimey back fist, here we see. And the idea is to take the head right off their shoulders, okay? But we don't tend to use those ones. We use them as an Atemi strike. So if we're up here, look, with our boxing, uh, boxing guard here, see if you, okay, you can come in, take the guard down, bang over the top, in fact. We'll do a little bit of that in a moment, okay? So you've got the roundhouse, and you've got the overhand. I'm just gonna stop the video here, because I'm never sure how much memory I've got on my phone. So uh, we'll stop it here. You guys have a practice of that. I'm going to then do another short section for some more backfists, some different backfists, okay? And I can finish my karate tea. Karate.